hi it's me tree oh it's january 18th i don't even remember the last time i talked to the camera i don't even remember if it was on my actual camera on, or on my phone this does not bode well for my editing i also because i'm on my phone cannot remember which side the camera is on because I, i'm always wrong on it so things i am extremely extremely stressed uh, for myriad reasons I mean look at the world at large right now um, but for those of you who don't know who don't read my webcomic or follow things where I've mentioned this um, our large chunky boy uh, morph who would have would have been 20 next month uh, we had youth euthanize him a couple weeks ago so we're all very unhappy here in Hemlock House, which I think is understandable. It's like the, the vet gave us his ashes and a little plaster paw print, and, which just kills me. But yeah, uh, our, our, our baby bug is home with us again and is sitting with his sister up on my altar. So we're doing real good. Look at that tiny little snoot. Can poop the snoot. Go. Yeah. Boop. I started doing a thing called morning pages, which, considering what my sleep schedule looks like, they're not really morning pages, and I don't always really remember to do them at the beginning of the day, and I just remembered I forgot to turn on my seasonal affective disorder, or whatever they're calling it now, lamp, which I'm trying to connect in my brain that the lamp goes on when I do the morning pages. Basically, they're just a brain dump to get your stuff out of your head um, so you can progress with your day and you know I always end up drawing in it so it's a little like low-key warm-up and I do a tarot reading for it because I low-key have a couple of tarot decks in my head, and it's, how many times can I say low-key? And it's a low-key way of me learning tarot at a more cellular level than s studying it explicitly, because I'm very much a, a, a learn-by-doing sort of person. I, I, I kinesthetic, I interact with text, I talk to them, I'm weird that way. That is quite the highlight I got going on there. Cool. I'm gonna Let take me just things. say that Andy Allen and Sam Delay would be even more amazing. You could like change what ever. this game feels like with Look different soundtracks. <laughs> just imagine this. You know what I mean? Just like imagine so this game with like classical music. Oh, so lovely, so kind. Imagine this game with like C.M. Rosen, who wrote The Crows. Their uh, her novel Thirteenth, which is kind of sequely to The Crows is coming out soon and it looks like I get an ARC for it and I'm very excited because I beta read 13, 13th and it was so good then I can only imagine it's gotten better in the editing. So I'm very excited about that. Also things that I've read recently, I read, well I need to finish, I'm about halfway through the second novella, American Hippo, um, and I love it. I love American Hippo so much. I, I, I love Hero, who is a they-them, and I love um, Archie, who is a con woman, but she is also a fat con woman, and I, I know some of the, the people from book club were real thrilled that it always seemed to come up whenever she was described, 
but as somebody who has spent my entire life fighting with furniture that I do not fit in, it was so nice to see. It was like what I experience every time I sit in a chair that's not in our house. So, while I can understand why it's, fr why it's frustrating to some people, it was not frustrating to me. But, you know, that's how things are. Right? Not everything is for everyone. And that's okay. Uh, matcha. Other exciting things. Sorry, I, I did something weird to my hand earlier and it hurts. That's why I had my, my compression glove on. I don't know. We just haven't been doing much. We, we know Manai and probably probably Ariel too. She's very inscrutable. Um, have all been very down in the dumps. So we're we're doing the best we can. Hi. No. Oh, so sweet. I know my laptop's where you wanna be. Because that's where my laptop goes. I know you are the only laptop that matters. And such a good girl. Best bean. I don't know. I think that's it for now. Um, hopefully I will edit, the, edit this this week. Um, also, for those of you who have interest in my webcomic and have not seen it, um, seen the last, last week's because of Morph, who is the, who was the in real life barnacles of uh, death. I don't know if I'm keeping, going to keep producing the adventures of Squid and Barnacle because it was always fundamentally about Morph and my experience together. And Ariel, who is the in real life Jello, you know, came in and changed it, but it's still fundamentally about me and Morph and I don't know if I can create the comic without him anymore. So I'm taking a break from it to make this decision and hopefully at some point I will have a decision because right now I'm just, I vacillate wildly and that's the grief. Other thing that I just thought of, um, because my studio is in absolute chaos because of um, the last couple of years, it, it has eaten all my needle felting stuff. Somewhere in my studio there is an entire thing of needle felting stuff, there is a bin of beading stuff that lives with it. <laughs> We cannot find it right now. So I had to order myself new needle faulting stuff. So, because I have some ideas for things that I've been wanting to work on. I mean, ultimately, you know, needles break, yada yada. It's good to have doubles of some things, especially when you're me and break things and lose things because you're chaotic and your brain doesn't work for shit. Look at these googly eyes, aren't they fantastic? My lamp now looks at me. I live in a Pixar movie. All right, I'm gonna go. We're gonna edit it, edit this this week, I hope. And yeah, in case I have not said it elsewhere, because who knows what I have said to the camera. Do good, be kind, be brave, wear your freaking mask. Encourage.